Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through my microblading journey. Um, I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed today. And if you don't know what that means, basically microblading is a tattoo for your eyebrows. It's a realistic tattoo. The artist basically just creates hair strokes and certain techniques and shading and stuff like that to make your eyebrows look legit, but it's a tattoo, so it's permanent and it might hurt and it's on my face and so I'm really nervous but I'm so excited because I've always wanted to do this or not always but I've been wanting to do this for a really really long time and I've been researching different studios and artists and stuff like that and I finally found an artist and just a place in general that I'm really excited about and I'll get more into that later in the video about pricing and the procedure and stuff like that I'll talk to you guys about after I'm done with the microblading just because I don't know a whole lot about it right now. So I just wanted to show you the before picture. This is my eyebrows with no makeup on. Um, the reason I'm a little bit nervous is because if you guys watch my makeup tutorials or if you've watched my videos before where I do my eyebrows, um, I usually always complain about how my eyebrows are uneven. This eyebrow is quite a bit higher than this eyebrow and it's taken me like a couple years to figure out how to fill in my eyebrows to make them even so I guess I'm kind of nervous that she won't do it the way I like. Obviously she's going to map out my eyebrows and show me the shape before she gets into the microblading but you know I'm still nervous. It's a tattoo so I'm nervous you know everybody gets that feeling before they get a tattoo anywhere on their body not even just their face but yeah this is what my eyebrows look like. They're fine on their own but I just I always fill in my eyebrows every single day so it would be nice to have a little bit of fuller eyebrows for every day so I don't have to fill them in. All right, I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and get right into the appointment and the procedure now. I'm gonna have Chloe film for me and I might have to voice over this part just because of my whole microphone camera lens situation. You guys know the whole buzzing thing. So I might voice over it. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I don't know, do you? What does that mean? I have two small children and running this place is enough. I'm like, dude, that's like a whole other job. Yeah, I can't imagine. This is a really good angle for you, Haley. Is it? <laughs> Can you see up my nose? This is really bad looking. I'm just getting them. It leads me to believe that this whole eye is a little bit higher. <clears throat> my whole face is like... Did you say that this is the brow that's higher? Because yeah. it looks higher to me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think the eye itself is a little bit higher. Yeah. I don't know, do you think that these are going down too much? Oh my god. <laughs> you look like Lenny. Oh, <laughs> yes. They look really good. Do they? They look super good. Right. They really do. You can sit up too. It might help to sit up, but I think we need a few hair strokes right in the middle of that left brow. Yeah. This eyebrow looks good. Don't touch with your fingers. Got natural brow hairs that are like falling down right there. Yeah, this brow looks really good. So yeah, just that one spot. Look straight at me really quick. Yeah, I think we should hit there, and I think 
I might want to go over a few other shows right down here. And it was 10 days for not working out? Yeah. Talk to me, it is. <laughs> around your face? No, I don't. These look so good. So right now the hair strokes are super crisp. They're really fine. They are gonna fatten up a little bit, get a little bit softer, and it ends up looking really, really pretty. Okay. I like the way they look right now, because I'm just a fan of that really crispness, but um, they will soften a little bit, look more natural. And then I noticed that this hair wants to grow down a little bit, so you're probably gonna need to use some clear brow gel once they're able to kind of lift it up a little yeah. bit, or just remove those. It's up to you. Yeah. Or we can just add your fill if you want. If you decide you like them, you can just make the other side a little bit thicker. Really pretty. They look really good. Yay! All right. Amazing. Okay guys, so we are back home. It's actually been two days since I got my eyebrows microbladed. I was gonna do kind of a wrap up of this video yesterday, <clears throat> the day after microblading, but I got really busy. It doesn't really even matter because my brows still look the same as yesterday. So a little update on them. They're the darkest that <clears throat> they're gonna be right now. She explained to me that they get really dark the next couple days and then they start scabbing and then I'll start seeing like the scabs come off and then they'll look really really light and then they'll kind of darken a little bit after that so they go through this whole process they're really dark right now this isn't how dark they're going to be and they're also going to ashen up a little bit I really really like them they are pretty much perfect I do notice after a couple days of looking at them that my left eyebrow still is a little bit higher than my right eyebrow I knew this is going to be a problem like I explained in the beginning of the video my face is very not symmetrical and me and Erica my microblading artist we went through like my eyebrow shape and we talked about my face shape and stuff like that and I explained to her that one of my eyes is actually a lot lower than my other eye so even for me years and years of practicing my brows it's hard for me to match up my eyebrows just because my face shape is so different and so kind of unique that it's really hard to make the eyebrows even they're really close I can tell I can tell that this is normally how I do my eyebrows but when I go in for my touch-up in eight weeks I'm probably gonna have her add a couple strokes to the tail end of this eyebrow to make it a little bit lower and maybe a couple strokes to this arch up here to make it a little bit higher just to kind of even them out. They're really close. But I totally expected it just because, you know, my face is so unique and it's really, really hard to make the eyebrows even. We spent, I can't really remember, probably a good 30 minutes to an hour drawing out my eyebrows and figuring out if they're even or not. I think she spent a little extra time on me just because my face is a little bit unique, like I've said literally 10 times in this video. You know, I'm constantly looking at my face. I'm always filming my face. I'm always looking at my face in the mirror doing my makeup. So, you know, I'm gonna see it more than other people do. So anyways, enough talk about that. They look really really good in my opinion like when she revealed to me my eyebrows when I first got them done I was so nervous but she showed them to me and they were like outstanding better than I thought I would ever get done with microblading like I don't know what what I was thinking they were gonna look like but she did such an amazing job like the hair strokes just look so realistic everything looks so realistic and I'm so excited to see them kind of lighten up a little bit and ashen up a little bit so this is gonna be part one I'm actually gonna be doing a part two of this video of the healing process I was gonna do a whole video combined but the healing process actually takes around 25 to 30 days like for it to be completely done so and I wanted to get this video up right away because you know I'm gonna be filming myself you guys are gonna see that my eyebrows are microbladed so I wanted to get this video video up to like let you guys know about the process and then I'm gonna be doing a part two in a couple weeks about the healing process and stuff like that so I'm sorry that you have to wait for that but it's kind of just like the timing and how it works out I'm very excited to see the healing process I'm really interested to see how the brows are gonna kind of transform but yeah I'm just like so happy I'm 
really, really pleasantly surprised with how they turned out. Erica was amazing. Everyone in the salon was amazing, actually. Like, everyone that works there is so nice, and the salon is so beautiful and really modern and kind of Portland-y, which I really liked. So I want to kind of get into talking about prices. I know some of you are going to be a little bit shocked, but, you know, microblading is an expensive thing. If you want to get it done right, and if you want to get it done by a good artist, it's going to be pretty expensive. So I got mine done by the owner of the salon, Erica. She owns Studio Meraki, and that's the place that I got it done. I can't believe I haven't mentioned that yet. I got it done at Studio Meraki, and I'll link their Instagram, and I think that they have a YouTube channel, so I'll link them down below. And I got mine done by the owner, and she is considered advanced microblading, so she charges more than the other girls. I paid $800 to get these done, and then I am required to go in for a touch-up. If I don't need anything done, then she won't do anything, but most likely I will have to get a few strokes touched up because that's just how microblading goes. Sometimes some strokes don't stick and you have to get them redone. So a touch up is $200. And then after that, I'm good for like a year to two years, I'm pretty sure. I think they recommend um, everyone come in once a year to kind of get them touched up and like redone, but the price is not going to be as much as the initial price. So it's really just this first time that's kind of like, ouch, it hurts my wallet a little bit, but I think it's worth it because these brows are going to last for a really, really long time. The pain level was not too bad. If you guys have ever gotten a tat, like an actual tattoo done, it is nowhere near that. Like I feel like I have a high pain tolerance and getting a normal tattoo done, I've only gotten my wrist one and my ankle one, which those are really tiny tattoos. So it's kind of wimpy, but those were probably the most painful feeling I've ever ever experienced. She does put numbing cream on a few times during the process, so you are pretty numb, and really all it feels like is a little bit of a sting. It's not like the poking, like getting a normal tattoo done. It's like kind of a dragging process, I guess. But yeah, the pain level wasn't too bad. It is there, don't get me wrong. It's not like you don't feel anything, but it's definitely not that bad. The actual microblading itself, I wanna say it took about an hour and a half, maybe an hour. It really didn't take that long. I feel like the longest process was drawing on the eyebrow shape. And she explained to me all the aftercare. She gave me a little aftercare gel, told me what I shouldn't do. I can't put water on my face for 10 days I can't put moisturizer on anything above my eyes. So I've been putting moisturizer just down here. Don't touch your eyebrows. I'm trying to think of everything else. If you get really, really oily, you have to buy blotting papers and blot your eyebrows because you want to stay away from oil. Oil apparently makes these strokes expand and like blur out even more. She did explain to me that the hair strokes will blur out a little bit. They won't be as crisp as they look right now. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're very, very like distinct lines. She said they will lighten up and ash it up a lot and also blur out just slightly. So they look a little bit more natural. I mean, they look so natural right now to me, but, you know, I do need to think about, like, when I'm not wearing a face of makeup, like, I don't really want to go outside with dark brows like these, you know? But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Price, pain level, the experience, and then you will be seeing everything else in part two. The whole healing process, I'm going to be doing it day by day, showing you the scabbing process and stuff like that. But, yep. That's pretty much it. I'm going to stop blabbering. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.